Hey, Sugar. What's that noise? Sugar, what's that noise? Hey, you want to go see? I think it's the Lefty Bass Girl. Come on. Come on. It's the Lefty Bass Girl, Sugar. It's the sweetheart of the blues. Come on. Hey, Adriana. What you got there? Looks pretty pink and paisley. What? Where'd you get that? Oh, As if I didn't know. This was custom made for me by... Check it out. Come here. C custom made by... Check that Whoops. Out. Oh. Woo. That's my name. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I'm just horsing around. Man. But uh, uh, so what? What's the deal with it? Is you like it? Uh, oh man, this thing is gorgeous. Look at the pink paste, the body. Paper wait a minute. Under wait a minute. What paint. kind of neck is that? Is that a Schecter neck or? This is a custom La Jones neck made for me, special. How the heck? To my specs. How did I do that? And it's left-handed. Hey, do you think the folks out this. there in YouTube land would want to know how this this whole journey of how this uh, happened? They might, well, because it, it all started with the paper. Mm. The paper that we ordered from England, I think. Yeah, I think it came yeah. from England. Yeah. Let's do a little close check up out the. Oh, uh, look at check that. Check out the oh, neck. That's beautiful. Check out the oh, neck. Oh yeah. All the beautiful nice, bird's eye. And that's from Hooper Johnny. May he rest in pieces. May he rest in peace. Yeah. And um, I think. Um, well, I do know that there was lots and lots of gnashing of teeth and tearing of hair oh, yeah. on this uh, project. Yeah, so sure. if you all are interested out there, I'm going to post uh, all the journey of this uh, base. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, stay tuned and keep watching. I think it's going to be in two or three parts. It's long. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Adriana. The sweetheart of the blues, ladies and gentlemen. Lefty bass girl. <laughs> it's April here in St. Louis. And coming up in June is my wedding anniversary to the sweetheart of the blues. I know, I know, I know. I am clueless as to why she said yes. But anyway, they said... When I looked it up, they said that six year wedding anniversary is wood. Wood. I've also read that lots of good things start with wood. And I picked this up off a pretty cool guy on eBay, a nice alder base blank that I'm going to make a clever forgery. Of course, you won't know it's a forgery because it'll obviously be different than a 51 Fender P base, but that's the plan so far. Stay tuned. Well, look what just arrived from England. We gotta get sugar to give it a little sniff test. What do you think, sugar? What's that? Huh? Check it. Look at that. What do you think? She's not. She's not too crazy about it. Wow. Silver-backed paisley. This is gonna be the sweetheart of the blues. P base, front and back. Wow. This is made just like they made it. I think. Nice thick paper. Woo! All right then. Wow, it looks good in the chair. I just got to break out my Nehru shirt now. Here's the start of the body for the Sweetheart of the Blues custom made 51 ish P base. I've already done the outline and uh, took a little spray paint and uh, outline the essentials here. Alrighty. It's gonna be a nice piece. 
All right, first shots fired on the uh, pink paisley body. Oh yeah, it's hot out here in St. Louis today. Here's the neck route. Next, I'm going to drill these holes here for the grommets that I got. Here's your part number. Uh-huh. All right, then. Glad I didn't route that. That ain't right. I'm going to use my tele template. To route that I'll just mark one side of it and route it call it a day that'll do pig that'll do I regurgitate that'll do pig that'll do because I'm using the wrong template basically and I don't have a 51 P base to copy. I'm going to be putting the front of this pickup right there. It's going to be a warmer sound than if I put the back of the pickup right there, which I'm not going to do. I regurgitate front right there. Once more, I approve of the pig's work. Okay, that's it for today. So because the template that I have is for the mid 50s base, I had to cobble up my own template. Um, and here it is. And now I'm gonna route my control cavity. So to approximate just exactly where this very cool control cav plate cavity, control plate cavity goes. I am using this book to approximate where it's gonna go. And uh, yeah, so let me leaf through here. And there it is right there. I'm going to approximate where it goes. Not there. But what about the pick guard? There's never gonna be a pick guard. Any bass player that plays with a pick is probably going to be consigned to one of the seven pits of hell. So I'm just going to approximate it. Here we go. And there it is. Now I gotta drill holes from the bridge area to here without drilling through the back and diddle that hole to there with my handy aircraft screws. Okay, well it took me a couple of tries on the pickup to the control cavity, but I did manage to um, get that hole right there going through to the pickup cavity without drilling through the back. And then that one's done. Next step is just to, uh, and I did ding it up a little here. That's okay. I'm going to use a round over here, make it sweet. And uh, yeah, so next step is actually to cut this damn sucker out. Continuing my process of cutting off everything that doesn't look like a uh, 51 fender P base. I've hacked the bulk off with bandsaw and now I'm ready to uh, double stick the uh, router template to the body and route away. I'll do it route away. I like clamps. Double stick clamps. I don't think it's going to move while I'm doing the, uh, this is the trickiest part right here. So I'm going to do that first. 
Everything about a router is a pain in the ass, except the job that it does. So that's looking mighty good right there. I was gonna flip it around, but it seems to be going full speed ahead. All right, to avoid tear out, which is like something like that, not that, that, now that'll sand out, but if you try to take bigger bites, that could be a big chunk coming out of there. So take small bites, take your time. Believe it or not, this is halfway done, roughly. I'm gonna go deeper over here on the neck pocket. What did, what did you just say? That's crazy. Yeah, look at it, it's half done. What do you think of that? Huh? It's the Sweetheart so cool. of the Blues? I know. It's amazing. Yep. I can't even believe it. I know. It's, my, it's gonna be mine. It's all gonna be all yours. And it's gonna be Paisley, which is yes. the coolest part. It's gonna be Get the bunny right. in the picture. And the, the little bunny's looking on in complete uh -huh. envy because yeah. it wants a Paisley yes. base. Yes, 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 right. <laughs> See, this is my future Paisley base. Whoops. Beautiful. So, um, so beautiful. Wait a minute, what? what? This is my future Paisley base. Where? Here. Oh, there. All of this. Uh -huh. See? Okay. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? See how the, it goes right in between the... Yeah. Yeah. In, in between the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, it's, it's perfect gonna, fit. It's going to be sweet. Yeah. It's is it? Fit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yep. Very groovy. Here, would you like to have it? <laughs> And in honor of our anniversary, I got my wife this really beautiful anniversary present. She's going to love it. Alrighty, rounded over, sanded. I'm going to hit the sides with a... Uh, got to get in there by hand. We'll just do the sides and the curves here with uh, 220. It'll be a shame to cover this nice uh, grain with uh, paisley, but sometimes women appreciate shiny things more than wood. Something to bear in mind, fellas. Wow. Here's the sweetheart of the blues trying the body on her body. Oh my gosh. Feels good, Feels doesn't it? Feels great. Yeah. Yeah. It's Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like yeah. I was telling my audience, sometimes women prefer <laughs> shiny things over oh, wood. <laughs> Be ashamed to cover that with paisley, but hey. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> yes, indeed. All righty then. Wow. One last shot before we glue the paper, the paisley wallpaper. Looking good. Here we are measuring this paper for the nice fit as to where we're going to put the uh, wallpaper here. There's Adriana's hands. All right. Here's what I used to glue that paper onto the wood. And here's what I did. I put my floor jack and my super heavy anvil, nice pieces of flat mahogany, clamps, clamps, and uh, yeah, clamped it on down, nice and clean. Wow. That's all I can say. That is gonna be so Cool. That rig worked so well on the front, why not do it on the back? The neck is patiently waiting. All right, well, we've oh got this gosh. thing almost ready. Oh. We got this thing almost ready. Freaking gorgeous. We got this thing almost ready. She's coming over to check it out. What's that, Susan? Yeah. yeah. Man, she didn't take much of a sniff test to tell you that's fine. 
Pass. Flip it over. It Let's see the It matches her paisley collar. Yeah. Okay. Watch the ring uh -huh. on there. Uh huh. I'm on the sides. It's okay. Yeah. A little oh, bit more. I just gotta sand those edges a little, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, yeah. Yep. We're gonna start spraying oh, it. Oh my god. Oh. Yep. Oh my god. It's gonna be a sweetheart. Spectacular. And that's the sweetheart of the blues. And of course, we had to commemorate. the uh this occasion here and of course the sweetheart of the blues had to chime in with this one very nice all righty on to sanding while i'm letting glue dry i thought i'd assemble the electronic components here so in the original wiring they got two 250k pots they got a Point one. Ooh, look at that, a bumblebee, and they got a 15K resistor. I've seen some controversy about that. I can always take it out if the sweetheart of the blues doesn't like it. So let's just get to wiring this up and see which way is where. Yeah, something like that. All right. One of the works of perking, at, I mean, uh, one of the perks of, uh, what? One of the poiks of working at Guitar Center is I get free poster board for my uh, crazy projects. Okay, here's the rig, ready for the cherry red first coat. As usual, I ditched the cardboard cutout that I so religiously made. It just flops around too much. I need to make it out of something stiffer. Anyways, I got pretty good control of the spray. That's looking good. Red and white. And that's gonna be my rig right there. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Such an annoyance. Everything's made in China. So, of course, they make it metric. So I had to drill it out. I thought I was buying American. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. First pink shots fired. Nice. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So what I'm doing here is I'm feathering in the paper at I've put several coats of clear on the, on there, and uh, I'm gonna continue to do that until I feather in these rough edges here, um, and then continue with the pink. It's real rough here, and then if I go over here where I've sanded it, it's nice and smooth there, so probably three or four more times each on that, and uh, it'll be feathered in. I hated to do it. I took a chance on, uh, it's a little bit high humidity today, but uh, I think I'm right on the edge of being okay. Um, did the nice color coat here, and that's looking freaking nice. I hope it stays like that. Sorry about the finger in there. Great camera work, huh? Phone work. So far, other than the pink that it already is, and this light is a little dim here. Yeah. It's not blushing so far. Keep your fingers. While the sweetheart of the blues is patiently waiting for me, I thought I'd just take one little update. I'm doing clear now. She's happy with the way that looks and that's all I care about. All righty, onward. While I've been working on the neck for the past several weeks, this has been drying and I'm uh, about to wet sand it with a thousand grit sandpaper. Like that. For those
those of you that haven't watched my video on sunbursting that strat body, what you're, what you're going for, it's really hard to see, um, is a uniform gray. So a gray sheen, kind of like that. So you're getting rid of all the uh, grapefruit, or uh, is it lemon or orange uh, peel? See, over here, there's not an orange appeal. It's a kind of a pink flamingo appeal. Um, I'll shut up. Anyways, there's still some spots there. It's hard to see in this light there. You can probably, you can see it a little bit there. I want to get rid of all of that um, before I go to my polishing. When you're going from your final spray coat to polishing and you're only using a thousand or even 1200 grit, it does take a lot longer. But I'll tell you, if you take this down with 320 or even 800, it's going to take you forever. You'll never get those scratches out of there. Um, you know, so starting with no scratches and taking it down, it may seem longer, but I'll tell you, the final results are better. I still have a few spots here. It's really uneven with this uh, paper on there. I may never get all of them out, but, you know, I'll get what I get, and that's all that I'll get. Ha ha. All right, so I ran this by the future owner and she passed it so now the next step before i start putting it together with the hardware is just to clean it with water let all that compound out all those holes and crevices just with some brushes and water some lukewarm water and the assembly of the body proceeds here's a neat little trick you take your telly jack cup that's always falling out and you drive two screws in at an angle going either side little screws but long holds that in pretty good got the custom made la jones hand wound pickup in there and like that bridge ground pickup wires Okay, this is pretty synchronistic. The body is done. And I got the Sweetheart of the Blues modeling the body. Yeah, and then turn around for a second, Adriana. Model Hi. the back. I want to see, I want to show off the strap. Oh. Look at, no, keep going. I can't. Look at that strap. Look at that strap. Never mind the girl. <laughs> Look at that strap. Oh, yeah. All right. And the neck is close behind, folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> well, it's pretty close now. I, uh, I've been, tentatively, I put a little shim on this side here. It seems like the neck is not pitched exactly right. Um, you know, and I'll work that out down the road. But, um, first thing I got to do is pick a nice piece of bone for the nut. Because I'm going to make a nut and get this thing going. 